hard. I'm making some strawberries. Last night after the kids went to bed, I went down to the basement and grabbed our three giant tubs of Play-Doh Surprise and set it all up on our screened and porch table so they'd wake up for a fun surprise in the morning. I, oh, I got the waffle maker. It can make, and it can make some toast, water, anything. So this is gonna be the top and that's gonna be the bottom and so the smiley face group. It's the smiley face polka dot. We haven't brought the Play-Doh out in months because back when we were in Phoenix, I didn't want to get it out because we had our house on the market. We didn't want to make a big mess we'd have to clean up. And then we got here to Nashville. It's just been sitting in the basement with boxes, kind of mixed in with all of our toys. And it's just a hot mess down there. So I finally decided I was going to dig through the basement and find the three boxes yesterday. And I think the girls are glad I did. Let's do the candy gumball machine. Wasn't this your birthday present, Meyer? No, I was when I had my surgery. Oh, you're right. You got it after your surgery. We've collected so many Play-Doh sets over the years from our videos on Tic Tac Toy, and I saved them all because the girls, especially Maya, just love Play-Doh. I have a lollipop. Oh. All right, I'm making a cake for a birthday party because I'm a chef. What do you think of Play-Doh, Colin? Oh, do you like it? I think yeah. this is Colin's first time playing with Play-Doh and I think he's enjoying it. Smush! We've got this stovetop super set, the cake making station, which Maya has now, magical oven, which Addie's playing with, there's burger barbecue, breakfast bakery, shape and slice, and lastly, there's this candy cyclone. The bummer about the candy cyclone, though, is that I think we have some hardened Play-Doh stuck in there, and we can't get it out, so we can't use it. I'm trying to get it out with tools, but it is in there, like, rock hard. This one might have to go in the trash, sadly. This is one of my favorites. No, but we can still use the mold some. Oh, true. We can use the bottom, I guess. Well, since the kiddos are very content and I'm still in my pajamas, I'm gonna go get dressed and let them have some fun. Maybe we hadn't opened yet, so I'm gonna head down to the basement and see if I can find them. I know our basement storage room is one hot mess, but there's a very good reason why it is a mess. And that's because we usually had all of our toys organized on these big three giants like metal shelving units. And the problem was we decided to use those shelving units in our science lab for our current series. So we dumped all the toys off them in a rush, threw it in there so we could start filming, and we haven't found a new place for our toys yet. So they're gonna be cleaned up soon, probably when we get the carts back, but in the meantime, it is just a hot mess in here. Oop, I think I see one back here. Let's see, Noodle Making Mania. All right, I found four more sets down here, so I'm gonna take these up. There might be more down here, but it's just too messy to find them right now. Here comes more Play-Doh! <laughs> All right, Mr. Colin, do you want a fire truck? Truck. Do you want me to open it for oh, you? And I found this on, the, on the play card. Food cards. Ooh, Chinese. green beans, fish. You know what that is? Rice. Mashed potatoes and gravy, I think. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> that looks good. You're making me hungry. We haven't had breakfast yet. Whoa! There's the water. Here's your fire, Colin. Put it out. Put out the fire, big boy. Uh oh, that's right. And it's like the different noodle machine. So you're doing the noodle making mania, Maya? Strawberry red. And squeeze. It's coming down. It looks like a noodle. It looks like pink pasta. Whoa, Addy, check all this food. So this is my pasta. And I also have a cute little fork sticking in it. <laughs> and then this. It's just my pan of lollipops I need. Wow, that looks delicious. 
While the kids are playing Play-Doh outside, I said I'd come into the kitchen and I'm gonna put some food in the crock pot for dinner later. I feel like we've been in such a slump with food lately and we've just been busy and on the go and we've been making not the best food choices, just kind of eating fast, quick things that really aren't good for you. So I figured I'd make some salsa chicken um, in the crock pot, which we can just have all week long. We can add to salads, make quesadillas with, and just have something a little bit healthier than what we've been eating lately. to get smashed Play-Doh out of a rug. It might just be a permanent addition to the rug. Sandy! And just as we're getting ready to walk out the door for church, we hear a loud Sandy. And Colin spilled mini leaves all over the floor. I don't Sandy, I don't think that's good for you to eat all that. You're gonna get a bellyache. Gotta get Sandy in the basement before we go, and we gotta head out the door to church. Come on, Sandy! I have some weeds in. It's filming time, and it is a hot mess in our studio, but that's okay, it's supposed to be that way. We are in the middle of finishing up a video where we pretend our toy lab was ransacked, and this is what it looks like right now. So we're gonna bust out a couple more scenes of this video, and then hopefully be done with it, and then get this place back in order. It looks like not only am I going to be researching how to get Play-Doh out of carpets, but how to get slime out of carpets because we've had slime bottles tip over in the middle of filming. We've had all these little vials of um, like food colored water tip over too, so we have food coloring on our carpet and this video is going to ruin our floors probably. So I'm going to have to do some good research and some good cleaning in a bit. Hi there, are you coming too? Yeah. You girls ready to go crazy? Yeah. All right, remember we're hunting for the last clue that will help us unlock the safe and we're nervous and we're kind of scared and we're in a rush and we want to get it opened. You girls ready for that? Yeah. Everybody start hunting. All right, let's go girls. Did you get the safe open, Maya? Yeah, find it. What is that? It's just a box. <laughs> it's not in there yet. What you doing there, Liz? I got stuff all over my shoe. Oh my goodness. And then Maya go um like she speaks her head like this. <sighs> now that the safe's open, let's take the mini booth, sneak out the back door, and open them at your girl's house. Alright, girls, grab them and let's go. Well the girls are done with their scenes now. We got through it really quickly today, which I was relieved because I'm tired. Jason and I still have a scene left to do with him as the mad scientist, so we're gonna try to get this done now and then oh I just want to relax this evening. I think Jason and Sandy are tired too. Check this out. Hello. Hey. <laughs> How's it going? Good. I'm waiting on my actor. I'm ready. I'm dressed. <laughs> ready to go. You look like get you're my sleeping. Eyebrows and check. <laughs> All right. Let's get back to work. <laughs> I'm quite jealous of Sandy right now. I want to be on the bed sleeping. <laughs> You have no idea how good you have it, dog. We gotta get this done. <laughs> 
Good night. We wish we were dreaming too. They're not, and I kind of love them. But these three are soft. Are, you're right, the arson are kind of like that flock, that like fuzzy material. Yeah, these ones are definitely little fuzzies. How cute. When I was younger, my sister and I actually collected the Beanie Babies. It was when they were kind of brand new and they were super duper popular. And I remember we had, oh my goodness, it's embarrassing how many we had. We probably had like 75 each. It was what we spent all of our allowance on, all of any birthday money on. And I even remember they had Beanie Baby stores. You could go to a store and buy your Beanie Babies and they just sold Beanie Babies. It was quite the hit when I was younger. We're gonna, we might put some homes in here. So there's more homes. And then this is just a little black ball decoration. Where did this ball even come from? That's the decoration. Oh, it came from the garage. I have no idea how we got it. But <laughs> it, it's like a little swimming pool for this one. Ah. You need to get some water in there, huh? Yeah. And then they can come back to their room. Yeah, those are cozy little homes. This so reminds me of something that my sister and I would have done when we were younger. We were always like building stuff out of random things and it's just funny to see with Addie and Maya, they're about the same um, distance apart as my sister and I were, so just to see some of the similarities and things they do together. It's kind of cute. Up to the pool. 